Greetings and welcome to Living Supernaturally. Thank you so much once again for giving us this wonderful opportunity to spend a few moments in God's Word and in prayer. Today we'll talk about perseverance. James chapter 1 verse 3 and 4. Because you know that the testing of your faith produces perseverance, let perseverance finish its work so that you may be mature and complete, not lacking anything. Perseverance is the continued effort to do or to achieve something despite difficulties, failures or oppositions. The Bible tells us that as Christians we will face failures, we will face trials and tribulations for believing in God. Scripture warns us that these trials give encouragement to perseverance. In James chapter 1 and verse 12, Blessed is the man who remains steadfast under trial, for when he has stood the test, he will receive the crown of life which God has promised to those who love him. In Romans 7, Paul talks about his own struggles with sin and the requirements of the law. But he's able to send end in a joyful note. He explains, Thanks be to God who delivers me through Jesus our Lord. Paul's struggle is our struggle. The Bible includes many stories in which God's people start off well but end up forsaking the way of life and truth. Jesus calls 12 of his followers to be his disciples. They learn from him and follow his ways. They even go out two by two and spread the good news performing many miracles. But in the end, Judas betrays Jesus. Peter denies him and all the other disciples flee and hide. There are also some women who faithfully follow Jesus from Galilee. But when he is arrested, they too hide in fear. Jesus' disciples and other followers turn out to be discipleship failures. If you read about the leaders of God's people in the Old Testament, you find that King David began as a man after God's own heart. But when he became powerful, he gave into adultery and murder, which lost his kingdom to Absalom. David's son Solomon began as the wisest king of Israel that Israel ever had. But when he married women who worshipped other gods, his heart turned from God and the kingdom split apart. As Paul writes in Philippians 1 and verse 6, we can be confident that he who began a good work will carry it on to completion until the day of Jesus Christ. God does not and will not fail. He has his world in his hands and he has engraved us in the palms of his hand. This comforting assurance leads us to believe and shout, Thanks be to God. Let us continually rejoice in Him, pray for strength, for God to help us persevere through every challenge and every season of our lives. Let's pray. Father, we thank You for Your Word. We thank You, Lord, for exhorting us to persevere, Lord, through every challenge, through every storm that we may see, and to know that You are with us in the fire. You're with us in the floods. You will take us through, God. Help us to look to You, O God, to set our gaze upon You. You are faithful to complete what You have begun in each of our lives, Lord. We give You all the praise and glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.